It's time for a spooky Halloween game with spooky Halloween MIDI drivers. Oh my god, it's nearly the end of November. Nevertheless, this is The Seventh Guest, which was a wildly successful PC classic that somehow I've never played before. I remember it being advertised in the mail order adverts on all the PC magazines of the time at more than double the price of every other game around it because this was one of the very first CD-ROM games. It's a first-person adventure, it predated Myst by a few months, and it actually outsold Myst for a long time. It was the best-selling CD-ROM game ever until Myst eventually overtook it, and then Myst became the most famous one. And I don't really hear much about the seventh guest anymore, and I've kind of skipped over it and never played it. Uh, but still, uh, I'm going to play it now, and I'm going to start a new game, and the game's going to tell us the story, and I will be back after that. A huge thank you to all the super sponsors who make it possible for me to make these videos. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. He was a drifter, moving from town to town, robbing a gas station here, a grocery store there, until one night. She was coming home from choir practice, but she never got there. Stoff took her purse and ran away. He spent, Stoff had to run and hide. He sunk even lower. He had nothing. No life, no possessions, no dreams. Stoff carved the doll, whittling the haunting face until it was an exact replica. And when he was done, Stoff went to town, to a bar. The owner had a daughter. He said his girl would love the strange doll, and Stoff offered it to the man. And the owner, in turn, offered Stoff food and a place to stay. A simple transaction, the first of many. Stoff created the puzzle, 
just as he saw it. And everyone wanted one. Stoff opened up a shop because everyone wanted a Stoff toy. Every boy and girl in the town were from all the neighboring towns. A Stoff toy is a toy for life, people said, and no two are alike. Everyone loved his unique toys. Henry Stoff grew wealthy, but then the strange virus came, and some of the children started dying. Dying, clutching their stock toys so close. And there was this one last vision, a last dream of a great house, a mansion that the wealthy toy maker was to build. A strange house, a house that scared people. My, isn't this a cheery place? Edward, I'm not sure we should have been here today. Why, because it's a spooky old house? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I'll watch out for you. And here we go. We start in the house and there are six guests we saw. the Madam Scarlet and then Edward and his wife. Uh, there's a posh woman, uh, someone who's written down as prick with cane uh, and a confused looking man with a turban. And I am the seventh guest. But uh, at the moment, we don't know why any of them are here. So I suppose we've got to explore this uh, creepy old toy maker's creepy old mansion. <laughs> Which uh, might not have been as much of a cliché as it sounds uh, back in 1993. I'm running this under ScumVM uh, with the original files. There's actually been a re-release quite recently of this game, which uh, I hadn't expected at all. Uh... Now the skeleton hand just waggles its finger at you if you can't get somewhere. But to me, it looked like it was pointing forwards, which, which, so that's kind of awkward. Yeah, look at that. That's a finger waggle, but it'll change to a, the other hand and point forwards if I can go somewhere. So immediately you can uh, see the difference from Mist. It concentrates on these transitions and moving through this 3D space. Um, I read that they were they wanted to make the whole game live action, and have the camera move through this set for the mansion uh, but eventually uh, they decided that uh, doing it in 3d model was uh, much more cost effective I think it uh, was the way that they put it 
Oh, swirly thing alert. What's going on out there? Whatever it is, it's coming in here. Hmm. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, does this mean there's a puzzle here? <laughs> Skull with this bulging brain. You'll need more than lenses to focus your thoughts on this one. Um okay. So I'm seeing I'm seeing the word impossible immediately, but what do I do? What do I do? Oh, there's I've got an eyeball there. Hold on. Okay, let's try that. Now this doesn't make sense, or does it? Do I just... I don't think so. Oh? Oh, I forgot to start... Uh, yeah, okay, so... Do I just... There... Yeah, there we go. Now this doesn't make sense, or does it? There is um oh I can go back this way. Okay, so you have to go along the lines. There is no possible I've just realized that I'm uh instinctively moving the mouse without being able to see it and I can just feel now after 40 years of using computers I can just feel where a mouse is oh well and I just completely missed it never mind a perplexing planetary poser how puzzling perhaps a phonemic path can be phrased with a little postulation what twisted crime of logic would merit such a sentence goodness gracious he's Got the thesaurus out for that one, didn't he? I've had a couple of... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. I'll save that thought for later. Old man Stauff built a house and filled it with his toys. Six guests were invited one night. Their screams, the only noise. Blood inside the library, blood right up the hall, dripping down the attic stairs. Hey, guests, try not to fall. Nobody came out that night. Not one was ever seen. But old man Stealth is waiting there. <laughs> Crazy, sick, and mean! Okay, you, you went over the top a bit with the last bit, but uh, okay, so uh, what does this do? Stealth built a house. Oh, it's just the same thing again. I can press space to uh, speed up the uh, FMVs. Yeah, so uh, a couple of people said that I was overly mean to uh, my missed uh, uh, playthrough. And that, that was when I considered it a rather boring game and I hadn't gone through and properly appreciated it yet. So I'm going to try not to repeat that mistake with uh, this one. And just uh, appreciate it for what it was. Because uh, as, as rudimentary as it looks now, this was absolutely revolutionary at the time. Having actors in games, even if they were still images of them, floating around the room. So is there anything else in this room? Ah, there is. The puzzle is solved. Oh, that was quick.
Well, hang on a minute. How am I going through there? Hmm. Okay, nice to know. And we get uh, creepy old man Stout's floating head if we go there. And uh, I suppose our way out's this way, and uh, we'll be on the lookout for more puzzles to solve. So, what have we learned? Uh, Stouff invited six people to his house that night, killed them all in various elaborate ways, and uh, presumably uh, I'm next. <laughs> Looks like I can do something to this uh, stained glass window. My dear Mr. Dutton, welcome to my house. The arrangement is simple. You are to spend the night as my guest, and in exchange, I will give you your heart's most secret desire. And you know what that is, Mr. Dutton, don't you? I require one thing of you, a special service, a task that I've set up for you. There's a guest who hasn't arrived yet. A guest unlike the six of you, a very special guest. Your services involve that guest. You must wonder what that service is, but that is the game, Mr. Dutton. The puzzle I've set for you. This is all I can tell you, Mr. Dutton. In the morning, only one of my guests will walk out of this house with his or her every wish granted. Okay, so, uh, no clues from him as to who I am either. There's a bit of uh, Cluedo in this, isn't there? Don't know uh, how much uh, longer that comparison will last, but we've got the mysterious guests being invited to a creepy old mansion. Except uh, I think I'm the sole one trying to work out why all the other guests have died this time. Oh, have I found something? I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. <laughs> oh, I've tasted better fare. At least he left his regrets. I'll show you mine, if you show me yours. I, uh, I don't know. Uh... Oh, it says that we're each to have a piece. Exactly the same, including the symbols. What? That's impossible! That's impossible. Leave it to old Wonder Maths here. Let's have a look. Ah, become a grave digger now, have we? You are a glutton for punishment. Right, so, uh, <laughs> there are six guests. We have a six by five cake, that's 30. So each person needs to have five squares. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 gravestones. Two for each guest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 skulls. Two for each guest. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squares that are neither graves nor skulls. So one of those per guest. Hmm... So that's got to be... This and this have to be part of separate slices. And that's... That's... The, how do I cut this? Two skulls and two stones. The rest is just icing. Oh. Okay, well, I could have... <laughs> I could have just learned that by clicking on that. Puzzling. Some cannot be created more equal than others. Right. There's my first slice. The next one has to be this, and it's got to have... I think this is the only comb... Oh, 
one, two, three, four, and it's either going to be this or this. Hmm. I think I need to take this one. We'll see. Absolutely massive slices of cake, by the way. Don't know how anyone will survive that. Maybe that's what killed them. Um, one, two, three, four, five. It's hard to remember that... Uh, well, maybe this is a 3D object, I'm not sure. I was going to say it's hard to remember that uh, even rendering objects as basic as this are a bit beyond the uh, 386s and 486s of the time. Let's try a slice like that. I've done it! I've done it! This, uh, there's the fifth one. And just as soon as that's got out of the way, there's our sixth. All right, Steph, give us a harder one next time. There. Don't worry. I won't bite. Edward. We could help each other out. I could help you. And you could help me. Come and talk in my bedroom upstairs, where it's nice and private. Oh! You all right? Sorry, I just looked down at my notes and when I looked back her face had turned into a skull. For my first entry now I've got inappropriately horny Miss Scarlet. Uh, we know she's messing about with Edward. The man with the cane is called Datty, I think. And uh, we don't know much about the others. And, oh, uh, I've got another verb now. Uh, can I just eat it? Incredible. Right, I think things are going pretty well so far. Where else can I go? Let's check the door under this side of the stairs. Yep, that one's open. Looks like the kitchen to me, with an old-style lead-lined refrigerator, very healthy. Uh, something's going to play when I click here. When all the seven guests have gathered, you must figure out what I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. And mind you, the others are also working at the same task. <laughs> it may all depend on who has the greatest need, or who is the bravest. There are clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh. I mean, you made your host, Henry Scruff. Oh, bit of a... <laughs> bit of a leak in the audio at the end. Don't think he meant to put that in his message. It's interesting because you can see how it's put together. You can see that there's one FMV for facing the door and turning and then another one for turning the rest of the way. And they have to kind of stitch them together sometimes, so you turn in weird ways before you get to see where you were going. Oh, here we go. Yes, this is it. No, it isn't. Okay, so... She was doing some kind of puzzle there, but that puzzle isn't there anymore. Get out of the way, I'll do this. Let's see if we can see anything else here. Oh, they're just in the cupboard. 
I thought the puzzle would be to open that cupboard. This night is done. <laughs> uh, can you speak up a bit? I can't really hear you. Um, okay then. We've got R S T P Y B C. Oh my God. Okay, this is going to take a while. I've got so many Y's. We're going to do with those. There's more to these cans than meets the eye. I really hope there is, because I've only got half a vowel several uh, nine times, which is Y, and I've got no hope of spelling anything with these. I wonder if the colour of the eyeball <laughs> makes any difference? I don't think you can do this. Well, at least you've still got your sense of humour. I can make the word tryst. And that... Oh, and my! I suppose if I just imagine the Y is standing in for any vowel, I might be able to work something out eventually. Not within this decade, though. I can get crypt. I thought I might be able to get... Pygmy, but there's no M. Shy would work on the top. Buy is another two-letter word. Oh, am I actually doing this? Slyly. I did not think it was possible to make this many words with just Ys. My... Eyes have been truly opened by this game. Shy, Slyly, Pigpy, and Sreal. We'll sort those out later. Crept by my tryst. I hope I don't need to get the words in the right order as well. But they're coming together. Spryly. S P R Y L Y. When you said there are more to these cans than meets the eye, I thought that okay, some of these are going to transform into other vowels or something. Spryly. Slyly. And, uh, <laughs> a word that we don't say anymore. Yeah, I think there's a lot of backlash these days on the internet for being polite. But it's important just to think about what you're saying and not perpetuate harmful stereotypes in case they put a curse on you. Well, by my crypt would make more sense. Let's swap those round. Trist by my crypt. Spryly. Shy. Oh, I don't need to swap these round. Oh, does it not let me even put them back? Oh, right, I'll swap them round like that. Yes. There we go! Oh, is that it? I was expecting some kind of revelation. Let's see if anything's changed in the room. Maybe I can just head out the back door. No, can't do that. Oh, what's this do? Aha! Uh, careful of that soup. Squeamish just because your soup's talking to you. 
What about over here? Can this do anything? No, that just uh, goes around twice. There's another door that was uh, behind me there. Can't click on the door knob, but uh, the door works. Oh, I'm dying to see what you'll do next. Uh, so am I. Finding things a little grating. Oh, this this music needs to get out of my ears right now. Nothing ever seems to slide into place in this place. Okay, I've got it. I know exactly what I have to do. Uh, the execution might take a while, so... Oh no, hang on, I've done it. Easy. I have a bad feeling about this. How does it feel to be the first living thing to set foot in these dungeons in? I can't remember how long. <laughs> Oh, hi there. Oh, a spooky girl doing the pulley rope dance isn't going to entice me in there. Oh, he's doing it himself. Is this a maze? You're going to put me in a maze. I'll write, I'll, I'll write it down. Yes. Oh, yes. Keep going this way. Okay, if you're sure. This uh, maze is a little more automatic than I'd expected. Alright, so that sort of twisted round and then back again on itself. Uh, let's try this way. Feeling lonely. You're putting it on a bit thick here. Um, what now? Oh. Not a problem, okay. Yeah, I'll... Feeling lonely. No, you've done that one. Right, this has got to be something. Okay. Yes, Mr. Staff, that's very scary. Heading to the north, and or what I'm calling north. Feeling. Okay, back at this junction again. Let me go this way, and then head to the south. Going round north again. Oh. Feeling all oh, right. I suppose I'll go all the way back. What about north from here? Feeling it's funny that there's this uh, dead end jump scare uh, with the music, uh, but he could have worked on his lines a bit, I think. As I wander back through this dark, spooky maze. My desperate hope is that I can find some way to make this bit of the video interesting. Okay, I'm back at the first junction I was at now, so let's go north. And east. Back to the first corridor again. If the solution is just to keep going north, then you are a genius. I'm beginning to feel this is not going to end. The other disadvantage of having done that is I have absolutely no idea where I am anymore. The map is forgotten. 
I'm just clicking round trying to find somewhere that resembles a way forward. Get your hands off that piano, you rubbish! Oh! I think you'll be so lucky next time. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Clearly, an open and shut case. Oh, I'm going to click on these, and this one and the other coffins in the cross pattern are going to open and shut, and I've got to work a way of doing it so that they're all open or shut or something. Casket, perhaps. Yes, that's very witty, protagonist. The four winds change at every turn? I'm not sure if he's trying to give me hints or not, but I don't like it. Do I have to open them or close them? I suppose once I've opened them all, it's a fairly simple procedure to close them all. I hope. Oh, hang on a minute. That doesn't do anything to the middle one. Okay, so I wasn't paying enough attention. This is a bit more original. The corners open and shut the corner plus the three around them. Finding things a little cryptic. Shut up! The sides just toggle the three, and the middle does the cross shape that I'd anticipated. Okay. Oh my god, I thought this would be easier. Respect for the dead here. Oh, I've done it! Should let sleeping bones lie. This one and then the other corner, and I've done it. Where are we heading now? Okay there. All right, so the Turban Man killed Edward, or something that was occupying his body. Don't really want to think about that. Oh no, 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 no! No, don't look in there. Huh. <sighs> Right, well, glad we're out of there. Uh, I'm going to look in the fridge for a sandwich and take a bit of a rest before I continue. Thank you to everyone listed here for supporting the creation of these videos. Please visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the community, see videos earlier, and get some bonus content.